What's going on guys, Bao here back with some Eden Genetic Gladiators, so let's get into this day. We're going to be checking out PvPS Season 144, we got 4 days, 3 hours. Unfortunately, I did not get the mutant in the last one because I just didn't feel like playing. I, I got to the experts, but that was it. I didn't get the gold, nor did I get the character just because I didn't play it for the last like 4 5 days or something like that, so... Unfortunate. I really needed that character. Uh, the character in this one we don't need, but I'm going to be going for the gold. So, top 3%. I mean, we do have 4 days. It shouldn't take that much time. Also, we did just get a Evo upgrade. So, I upgraded my characters. We got 10 on level. Well, 9 now because we were at 235. But uh, we went from 235 to 245. So, 10 levels we're going to have to get on our new, um, well, not on our new characters, on our characters because of our new Evo levels. So, 10 levels. So, you guys are going to see me use the same characters, which I know everyone complains when I use the same characters in PvP. Why don't you use anything else? Well, this time I do actually have a good reason. It's because I have to use these characters. In order to get them up 10 levels which may not seem like a lot you're like oh 10 levels that's nothing but 10 levels at 235 is a crap ton of experience like it's insane how many how much experience i'm going to need for just 10 levels and uh we are still leveling up other characters i am still trying to level up the surfer um bankers like you can see i'm really trying to get these guys up so I can actually start using other characters and uh, I'm making a ton of platinums um, yeah we're, we're just make like we we're making like anything and everything like if I'm missing a platinum I'm going for it uh, we're running out of platinum stars though I currently only have like four left so yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a big problem pretty soon. But if you guys have any Platinums you want to see, new Platinums, old Platinums, um, I'm basically just going through all of my characters and seeing which um, characters I have multiples of. So that way I can just make those instead of having to use more gold stars. I did use about five gold stars uh on the recent random mutant video so you, that should be coming out hopefully with this um i'm not too sure which one to take out hmm i should probably just take down colossus let's just take down colossus and see what happens and we didn't even have enough for that that really really blows uh i think we lost this fight yeah we lost this fight for sure um yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. We're just getting more characters in Platinum. We're getting, well, we just got 10 evil levels, so we're going to have to be leveling up our characters even more. Um, what else are we doing? Well, currently, I'm doing the... Um, I'm doing the uh, Platinums, but... I'm gonna run out. I don't think I can kill these things. 80,000. If I can one shot this, then we might have a chance, but even then, I think we lose. And we hit it, and it survived with 2,000. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, it is gonna die, but then, like, this thing's gonna kill, kill us, hopefully. Well, not hopefully, but most likely, I should say. Um,. Oh, we might be able to, to, we might be able to, oh, never mind, this thing freaking, I thought that thing died, how much freaking, oh, that sucks, the shield saved that thing, should have just took out one of the faster ones, so, so unfortunate, but yeah, we're basically stuck with using these characters, uh, we're not really going for anything, honestly, we're just going for the gold, which isn't really that hard to get, top three is not that hard to get, top one percent is a whole nother story, but, um, yeah, we're going to have to stick with these three characters because if I change, like, if I just use X27, X27 is going to be my tag. If I just use Colossus, Colossus is going to be my tag. Um, I think currently Buffalo is my tag. 
So that's why I use the same three when I'm leveling. So that way it stays the way it is and they have the exact same amount of experience and I don't have to worry about it um, changing tags and stuff like that. So that's uh, pretty much why I'm just going to level these guys up however long it takes. Probably going to take quite a bit of time. I don't know if I'll be able to kill this thing. I think it hit for like 19. Um, I'm going to chance it. Hopefully we hit for 20. We hit for 19. Wow, one more level and I would have killed that thing. What's up with today? I feel like today is just not my day for PvP. Even though we just got 10 levels, I'm just getting destroyed left and right. And it really, really sucks. <laughs> Like it really does. Um, but yeah, that's basically all we're doing. We're not doing too much. Leveling characters, making platinums, We've got random immune videos. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing something for Halloween, like a Halloween, ev Halloween event. So hopefully that comes out pretty soon. And uh, hopefully it's pretty good as well. So. We'll see what uh, that comes out to be. We still have to do the PvE event, uh, which is only 50. So that's how I know they're going to be doing something because they're changing the timer on the PvE event. So normally it'd be 100 and it would be two weeks, but it was only 50 and a couple days. So um, that means they're getting ready for something. So when that one ends, there's going to be most likely the Halloween event. I don't know what they're gonna do. They could change it from previous years or they could do the same thing But uh, it would be nice if we can get a breeding event. That'd be pretty sick um, What else can we get? I mean, there's a ton of events that they could throw in and stuff like that, but uh, it, it all depends honestly. We'll see what happens um, As for now, I mean Hopefully we'll be able to get into the top 3% in this season. Just get the extra gold. Might as well. There's really no point in not going for it. Um, just because like the characters used to be there and I always used to get them. So I mean getting the gold now is not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time. And uh, a ton of fights. That's all it is. You just got to keep fighting, 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 fighting until you get to the top 3%. And then, yeah, you're good. That's pretty much it. Um, I will be trying to focus on getting more characters up in level. Um, I know I just got my... I think I should take down Big Boss first. Um, I know I just got my Evo level upgraded 10 more times, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to focus on getting the surfer upgraded. Uh, there's been some platinums recently that I made and that I want to upgrade. Um, although I'm gonna have to figure out who my tags are gonna be, so that way I can actually make them um, to 245, and uh, I, I don't have to worry about it because right now it is Buffalo. -er. And like if I level up the surfer that would change to that because um, those are all new characters that I made recently or got recently so the newer the character that's what your tag is gonna be it, it's so confused they really need to just pick a make a building where you could pick a tag instead of having it like this because it's kind of annoying that I had to be careful which characters I level to max and all this stuff because like I want to level up all my bankers but I can't because I have to level up a uh, character that I made after I got all those guys which surfer would work of course but um yeah we made quite a few other platinums that I could use as my tag or maybe the new one um I mean there's a few different choices that I got so but that's basically 245 levels we're gonna have to go up which is not an easy feat um it really isn't like look at that 32,000 and we're barely getting experience it's it's insane how much experience you actually need to level these guys up um but pvp is the best the pvp is, i can't talk today pvp is the best place to get levels because when you fight in it it gives you a crap ton of experience and it's still better than the newest 
Um, let's just take down this thing. It's still better than the newest divisions. So, like with the campaign, like it's, I don't know how much it is, like 3,000 3, or something. I don't know. It's not really that high compared to this. I just got 30,000 for one fight. So it is definitely better to do PVP. It's just, I get so bored of PVP. It's not my thing anymore. I just, there's just too much stuff. Too many mutants, um, too many levels you have to worry about now. And like, there's just so much other random stuff that you didn't have to worry about before that you got to worry about now. And uh, yeah, it's just not, as fun as it used to be for me but like i still do it um especially just to get the coins if i'm having a really good season for pvp um of course i'll uh play a ton but like this season we're we're down to the last four days and i'm gonna try to go for that top three percent so we'll see how that actually works out but uh, maybe the next season we'll have a character that I actually need. Although the previous one did and I didn't make it. So I guess even if there is one that I need, it isn't a guarantee that I'll actually get it. Just because it all depends on my mood if I want to play PvP. Um, or if stuff's going on in my life and stuff like that. Because like, there was a ton of stuff that happened. Um, which I don't really want to talk about. But... It stopped me from making videos. Ah, oh, kind of saved my tag. Uh, it stopped me from making videos that I was making before because I had stuff to deal with besides everything else that I was dealing with before. So I just didn't have time. Well, I had the time. It was just um, I was watching my auntie's kids, which is a whole different story, which I don't really want to get into. Um, not that I don't mind, I, I don't mind getting into the story, it's just, um, it's a long story and, uh, maybe I'll save it for, like, a good series to talk about it, I don't know, because I really don't talk about freaking crit, you lucky bastard, um, yeah, I really don't talk about too much, but, yeah, there's just so much stuff that happens that I don't really talk about, so that's why my videos come out. I lost 20 freaking points for that. See, this is why I don't like PvP. A freaking one loss because it gets a freaking lucky crit. You gotta be kidding me. So stupid. So, so stupid. I should have won that. That, that was an easy win, but he hits the crit that he needs for him to kill me you gotta be kidding me and that's why i don't like pvp like it's just stupid stuff like that yeah i hit those every once in a while too and stuff but i don't know i just don't like pvp anymore it's just not fun for me i still like playing mutants but the aspect of pvp is just not appealing to me anymore it really isn't it's just bland same with the events, they're just bland. I do them anyway just for the rewards because I like making mutants, I like collecting mutants and stuff like that. Like, I like doing that stuff. But in terms of PvP or PvE, it's just not something I like doing anymore. Unless like the PvE events for like Halloween or like they have some pretty cool stuff. Something like that, then of course, of course I'll be like, yeah, let's, let's get this done. But for the most part, it's pretty much just, meh, I don't really care too much to actually sit there, make PvP videos every single day, like I used to, and this and that, and like, it's just not as fun anymore, um, because there's just so many characters now, you gotta keep getting the newest character, then you gotta max them to platinum, and then from platinum you gotta max them to your highest evo, and then you gotta worry about your tag, and then you gotta worry about this and that, orbs, and it's just so much stuff that is just basically stuff I don't feel like dealing with uh, in terms of PvP anymore. Like, the game is fun. Like, I have fun playing the game. Like, that's not an issue. 
It's just the PvE and PvP aspects aren't fun anymore. I've played so much of it that it's just... Maybe I'll get to that stuff or maybe I won't. Like with the character last season, I'm pretty sure I could have got it if I just stuck to playing the game for multiple hours every day. But I just didn't want to. Like I didn't want to sit there and play the game for four or five hours or however much time I had like I used to. Um, because I feel like playing other games. Like other games interest me besides just this. So... Um, collecting mutants, making platinum, stuff like that. It's pretty easy to do, it doesn't take that long uh, compared to like PvP if I'm going for top 1% or whatever. You're sitting here for like three to four hours trying to make sure you win every single fight and get as much points as possible. Like there's just, you gotta worry about orbs. Um, yeah, who knows what they're going to add next, and they're going to have to worry about that as well. So, uh, I just feel like PvP is not really balanced anymore. It's just all about making sure you get the newest characters that they put out, or certain characters that they put out, um, that are just going to destroy. But then, everyone has those characters, so it gets very boring. Um, all you would have to do is make a counter to said characters. And then you're pretty much good to go. The only reason I don't do that is because I would have to level up the characters. And currently I only have three. The three that I'm using. Um, that are going to be my max level. So I'm just like. I don't feel like maxing out other characters to deal with said characters. Uh, worrying about tags. Like that tag there really sucked. Screwed me over. And I'm probably going to lose for it. But... Um, yeah, it's just not as fun as it used to be. Because I used to have fun when I used to play PvP. Now it's just like... Do I have fun? Not really. It's not, not really as fun anymore. So... I just feel like I don't do it as much anymore. But, uh... Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this fight. That really, 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 really sucks. Um... Guess we'll just hit this guy. Freaking A, dude. If that tag would have just killed that thing, I would have been able to check out the Spinner Fury and then would have only had to take um, Colossus down. Now I have to worry about all these other characters that I didn't have to worry about before, and I'm 100% probably going to lose now. Like, all because of one tag screwed me over. So, yeah, that's why I'm just like, PvP is just not fun for me anymore. Um, but it's the plus get, best place to get experience, so... And then, yeah, I could switch characters, um... So that way I could fight lower-ranked characters, or lower-ranked people. But... I don't want to waste credits doing that, and... I don't know, there's just... So much in terms of PvP that I just don't like anymore. For me, I feel like it's just a waste of time compared to getting other stuff done. I lost, by the way. Um, there's no way I kill this guy unless I hit a crit. Which, I mean, I could hit a crit, but the likelihood of me hitting a crit is very, very, very slim. And, uh, there you go. I, I lost. If it would've just killed that one character, I would've been able to win this fight. All because one tag sucked. So, yeah. Like, and I'm not gonna go through all my friends lists and make sure oh your tax sucks i'm gonna kick you off and stuff it's it's not worth it for me anymore uh in terms of that and i'm basically back to where i started 800 points nine fights four losses all because of either shitty tags or we get freaking crazy high people like this or just like dumb stuff that it just yeah, see, like, I'm just getting frustrated with PvP. It's not fun for me anymore. Um, even if I had all the other characters leveled that I would want leveled, like, all of them, it still wouldn't interest me at all. It just... I don't know, there's something about it that just... PvP just lost that, uh... Feeling I used to get when I used to play, I don't know. But 
yeah, it's pretty much just doing it just to do it now at this point. Um, but everything else I have fun, like collecting characters, leveling characters, getting platinums and stuff. I have fun doing that, but everything else is just like, oh, it's just so boring. PVP is a lot boring. Um, crafting is the most waste of time I've ever seen, honestly. And they really need to change that. There's so much stuff they need to change. And it's been so long and they haven't really done anything. They, they really haven't done anything. And it frustrates me so much to see that they could have did so many things. And they just don't care. Like, like I don't care about PvP. They don't care about the game. That's how I feel. So it just makes me not care about PvP even more. Um, but... I'll continue to collect characters like all that other stuff interests me like collecting characters making platinums I have fun doing all that stuff um, In terms of like PvE It's not as bad as PvP just because PvE is just It's time-consuming. That's it. You just blow through it. You're good to go. That's it um, as to where PvP you just there's just so much that goes into it. That's just so boring like I don't know. I don't have fun with it anymore. It's not something that interests me. Uh, as before, I'd be like, "Oh, I gotta, I gotta switch this character. I gotta make sure I have this character max um, to take down this team. Um, I have to have these characters set up." And um, like, I used to use characters that people didn't use, like Shell Shock, and like I, I used to make different teams. Like, I used to do a ton of stuff like that. Now it's just like, meh. I don't, I don't really care. Just gotta get my characters leveled and that's it. <laughs> and then of course I gotta get to the top 3% which for some reason today is just not going my way at all. Even though I'm leveling my characters, it's just not going my way. Either they get a freaking amazing crit or uh, a tag sucks or I'm only up 5 points from when I started. Like, it's just insane. Like, I've wasted 20 minutes, and I've only basically gained 5 points. I, yeah, I got some levels on my characters, but it, there was no point in me playing PvP besides levels. Which, I mean, is a good thing. Getting levels on your characters is really, really good. But, um, yeah, for everyone asking why I use... Well, in this video, why I'm using the same three characters, because of Evo... Um, I have been switching it up and stuff like that. It's just I can't do that right now because I got to make these guys 245 once they get to 245 I'll switch it up um, but uh, In terms of switching it up. I usually only switch out one character So that way I could level that character up because I can't switch out all three and expect to win a fight that Is gonna be way 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 better than the team I'm gonna have or something like that so um yeah just I don't know it just depends how I'm feeling honestly like today it's just I want to get it done but I'm just having a bad time for PvP there's days where I'm just like doing really good or it's PvP is going my way and I can sit there and play for like two to three hours or even longer and I like those days because I can make a ton of content but on days like this I'm just like oh when is this gonna be over which it probably comes across as well um, in the videos but you still gotta do it like if you're gonna try to get to any of the um, stuff especially like top three top one percent you're gonna have to sit here and grind and grind and grind and I'm just like I don't want to I really really don't it doesn't interest me anymore to sit there and grind levels like I don't mind grinding but on this game it's just it doesn't have that allure anymore I guess um to grind stuff besides getting like I for some reason like the whole collecting characters and stuff like that I love all that like if they added more bingos and stuff like that or quests um i don't know just something different than what i'm normally used to then oh 100 i'd be all over that but p 
PvP, PvE, like they haven't added or they haven't innovated the game at all. They haven't done anything to the game besides adding new campaigns, which is like, that was a given. Like they were going to do that at some point anyway. Why haven't you given us the campaign on hell mode or hard mode or uh, inferno or like some crazy stuff that they could come up with or give us new buildings or maybe make a new mutants game mutant genetic layers too i really would love love to see that that would be the best i don't know why they didn't do that when they first got the game or maybe that's what they're working on now that's why they haven't really done anything but man to see a second one would be so so good everyone's starting from scratch grinding out like that would have me 100 percent interested in even if it was the same thing i feel like everyone would be starting from whenever the game came out and i'd be grinding like crazy um just because that's what i did when this game came out and i stuck with everybody till i hit 300 and then i was just like i'm done and then ever since then it's just slowly um everything else is just besides the collecting of characters and stuff like that everything else is just eh, like it's just there like it's something to do that i i really don't want to do or i have no interest in anymore um besides like making characters um seeing what breeds work like i still have fun doing all that stuff if they would make the crafting a little bit better i would not mind doing crafting and this freaking dog is in my way um yeah i wouldn't mind doing the crafting if they made it to where it does like times five or times ten or something like that like they really need to either make a new mutants game mutants 2 or they need to start adding new stuff in like where's all the new stuff you can't just keep doing the same thing over and over and over like all like yeah people came back for a little bit but everyone just left again because it's boring like i understand why people are leaving but uh for me if i didn't have fun making mutants or stuff like that i probably wouldn't play the game anymore just because i don't have no desire doing pvp um pve i could do it's just it's boring because it's like there's nothing to it and like what what fun is that there isn't really any fun in that but i don't know maybe they'll come out with something crazy and uh, it'll change the the way the game works or i don't know maybe they'll finally figure out how to add their own new stuff to the game like i don't know why they're trying to keep it the way it was when it was the other team running it like there's new people running it so add new stuff like well, i want to see what they could come up with it doesn't matter if it's outside the normal mutant stuff because that's what's going to draw people back into the game it's been out for quite a while now and they need something to bring in new players bring in old players like there's just so much stuff that they could do and add in and work with players and like a ton of people have a ton of good ideas and they just don't use any of them it's really frustrating to see that and i just feel like they don't really care honestly it's just like oh uh halloween's coming up let's do the halloween events uh how, how did they do it previously let's just do it the same way Maybe we'll switch it up a little bit, but we're pretty much just going to put out the same things and uh, we're not going to fix any of the things that need fixing. We're not going to add or innovate the game in any way, shape or form. We're just going to stick to the old model and uh, let's increase the price of the characters because uh, we can. It's just like, wait, what? The reason people bought those characters were because they were reasonably priced compared to every other game out there. Like they were a dollar ninety nine, which a character should be like a dollar or two bucks. Five bucks, okay, it just depends on the character. But ten bucks is just like why? Like just because every other game is doing it that way doesn't mean you have to follow everybody else. 
and it's just a money grab and I feel like if they wouldn't have done that and they would have just did their own thing and made the game and changed whatever they wanted to change or add in new features or see what works see what doesn't um add in a random trial or um i don't know there's just so much stuff that they could do that other games are doing and it would work like skin boxes instead of having like they have the mutant genetic boxes or whatever for mutants why don't they have a box for skins like start adding skins into the game and then with that box add in the bingo skins and you could just do bingo skin one two three people would buy the boxes and have the skins look pretty sick or like it's not that hard to figure out stuff to make money off the game that would actually benefit the players and actually bring people back and have people talking about the game and i don't know i just i don't know i just feel like they're just like uh, we own the game we'll just do whatever they were doing before we'll just keep milking it until we have no players or fan base left and then we'll shut the game down and yeah that'll be it i feel like that's how it's headed like um i'll probably play it till it's done but i feel like it's just gonna keep going in that straight line until they don't have or they're not making enough money in terms of how much they're putting into it and they're just going to shut it down instead of actually working on the game and making a ton of stuff that they can make and make a ton of money off of it like there's so much stuff that they can make a ton of money off of that they don't think about that is just going to waste honestly because it's a really good game the characters are amazing there's a ton of stuff like the pvp thing they could fix it um they could add more to it they could make it more um fun they could add just different stuff to it to make it worth doing pvp and not sitting here grinding my brains out for nothing basically like yeah we're getting gold uh, a thousand gold is nothing like I get that every two days almost um because I get 850 and then I get an extra 20 every 12 hours so that's basically um 900 and something gold so that's almost a thousand I get that for doing nothing and there's people out there that get way more than that for every two days because they bought the furnaces and forges and they don't do anything with it like there's so much stuff that they could do um make more gold sinks and um reward players for doing certain things and uh, bringing the fan base back and innovating the game and trying to even if it makes some of the players be like why are they doing that oh this sucks i'm not gonna play anymore but then them changing that could bring an influx of a ton of new players to the game like if they're not gonna play it they're not gonna play it you're still losing fans or you're still losing your player base regardless because it's going down no matter what i see it every day like there's just people like well oh, i'm quitting the game you can leave me on your friends list or you can delete me um i'm tired of this and this and that and i'm just like they can fix all this stuff I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to add in certain things that would improve the quality of games um, that you play or improve the quality of some of the fights or improve just overall smoothness to the game in regular people playing like regular people playing compared to someone like me who would sit there and grind out as much hours as I can possibly grind out if I had 10 hours like I did before um because all I had was school like I would sit there and grind out like 10 hours or however many hours I could grind down and stuff like that compared to like a basic person coming in like they could hit both markets and I just feel like they don't 
and it's sad. It's really, really sad to see that uh, they don't listen to their fans. But most game companies don't. I don't know why, though. Like, they're clearly trying to make money. But then when they actually get really good advice or really good things, they're just like, nope, I'm not going to use that. Uh, whether it's because that person came up with it. I'm pretty sure you guys could come up with some stuff that would be pretty good. I mean, if you play games or you own a game company, you've made other games. I'm pretty sure your team could come together and figure out some stuff that would be pretty sick and it'd be pretty fun like to have um besides like the pvp and pve events to have like events like events i call them events but um to have quests like they have the quest page or whatever every once in a while but i'm talking about actual quests like monthly quests um weekly daily like, yeah, they have daily, but, like, I'm talking about the whole thing of, like, quests or, like, have special ones for, like, like the Halloween coming up. Kill a thousand Necromutants and get this. Kill uh, this many Zoomorphs and get this. Like, I don't know. There's, like, a ton of stuff that they could do to just make people have a better time playing to make people have more stuff to do and get them interested into the game besides the broken ass PvP and the PvE which is just so just I don't even know PvP is just or PvE is just like the most boring thing ever it just basically all it is is it's 100 levels all right that's gonna be two hours of me sitting there bored out of my mind trying to get through this as fast as i possibly can <laughs> that's basically what it is um or they could add in uh tickets to where it could auto finish one of the fights for pve or something like that that'd be pretty cool um and then maybe you only get those from crafting or they could fix a crafting thing like there's so much stuff that they could do and it's a shame because like the characters are so cool and they, they always add in these amazing characters and they always just come they, like some of the characters just come out of nowhere and i'm just like that's pretty sick or they get them from um other games or just other stuff that's going on and it's just why can't they do that with everything else i'm pretty sure they can see what they need to do in order to make the game make more money because that's their ultimate goal is to make money of course it is like that's what every game company is doing with their game is how much money can we make um how much money would it cost us to make this will we make our money back how much more money would we make and clearly them up in the price they felt it still got enough money compared to the price that it was before so they may be selling less mutants but it still adds up to the hundreds of other people that bought it before because it's like uh what five people back then could buy a character for the price of one character now so even though there's less people buying the characters they still make the same amount but it's just like you could probably make a lot more if you just think about other like i'm not trying to give away a bunch of stuff to them um because i have a ton of ideas but then it's just like i'm pretty sure they could come up with the ideas i'm thinking of too and they can make a ton of money and it's just like why i gave out a ton of good ones just now there's a ton of good ones uh that people talk about in groups or um on their forums like there's people talking about ways to improve the game to add new stuff to get people to come back or to get people to actually spend money now um and they don't have to charge like crazy ass amounts to to get it done like it's a simple simple little thing that they could do 
to make a ton of money off of the game which I'm pretty sure that's what they're trying to do so why aren't they doing it is my question like why aren't they going out there and adding all this cool stuff and unless like the way I'm looking at it is unless they're making mutants too which would be freaking amazing what are they doing? Because I felt like they haven't done anything and they had it since September. Like, what are they doing? Like, we're almost at the end of this year and we haven't really gotten anything. Like, everyone's like, oh, hey, they added in new campaigns. Like, yeah, we were going to get those eventually. Like, that's th that was a given. We're, we're, we, they, they were probably already working on those. Like, of course we would get more of those that's not something that they uh, like some amazing thing that they made up or something like that it was just like yeah of course they would do that that's common sense basically um and then nothing else we haven't had any breeding event like we've had a couple but we haven't had breeding events we haven't we haven't really had anything to besides like the anniversary but I don't really count that because it's the anniversary event which I felt like they could have did way better on the anniversary event than they actually did and uh, yeah that really sucked honestly it's just like what what were they doing during that I don't know if I can kill this like I can kill him but I think I'm gonna hit no matter what so we'll kill him we'll just get hit by this guy but um yeah, it's just, I don't know, like, uh, if they're really wanting to make money, I feel like they're not doing it the way they should be doing it. But, I don't know, unless all that time is going to the next Mutants game, then I could understand that. But if it's not, then I'm just like, where the hell is all this time going? How many people do they have working? Even if they only have a couple people working on it, adding in simple things that just improve the game quality doesn't take that like if they can make a mutant every couple of weeks they can make a building that houses a tag same thing they could add in simple changes that would improve the crafting to make it better they could Add in a, I, I, like I want to say a ton of stuff, but then I'm just like, what if they actually use some of this stuff? So I don't really want to. But there's just like little things that they could do. And honestly, I'm I'm pretty sure they would make a crap ton of money if they would just implement some of the stuff that people talk about, and it'd be fine. Even with the forges and furnaces, even if they brought those back, I feel like they could still make it to where. It would be enough of a gold sink every, not every week, but every so often that it wouldn't matter how many forges and furnaces you have because you would be spending so much gold on other stuff. Or like there's just like little certain things that they could do to make people spend gold on certain things. Like the Evo, that was a good one for us to spend it before the Halloween event came out because they're going to be adding in maybe new characters or something like that. So that's why they added in the event because I noticed they do that a lot. Anytime they're going to have like stuff to um, buy and stuff like that, they'll throw up an Evo event or some, some sort of event to get you to spend gold. And then they'll have their packs, which I think the packs are just BS, honestly. Like we used to get really good packs. Now these packs are just straight up BS why why did they change that like they didn't change anything else but they could change the price of a pack why why would we pay more for less than we were paying when the game was actually really good because i feel like the game's just going downhill and they're not doing anything to stop it i don't know this is my opinion but it's just like if i was one behind mutants and I was trying to make your company money, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of stuff 
simple little things that would make money instantly and it would probably not cost you that much to get it done to implement it into the game but they just don't do it and it's just like wow it's it's so bad and then with the whole packs it's like oh we have a pack of gold on sale like if we were getting gold and characters for a certain price why would you up those when we're used to that all you would have to do is increase the prices of or like there's certain things you could do to make it to where having that much gold still wouldn't be that big of a deal even if you got it every single day because like you would just add in gold sinks that's all you have to do that's it it's not that hard it doesn't take a smart person to figure out how to make people spend money or not spend money but spend gold in order for you to make them buy more gold and make money off of it or there's just like little things that they could do to improve the game bring a ton of people back or bring new people and they start spending money but yeah, that's just how I feel about PvP and the game itself. Like, it's fun for me in terms of getting mutants, making mutants, crafting mutants. Like, all that is fun. I have fun collecting those. Because I like, like, in games like this, I like collecting them. Just like Pokemon, I like collecting Pokemon. Um, so, I like collecting them. But I feel like there's just little things that they could do to make it even more worth collecting all the characters. And they added one bingo so far. One. I would have added in like 20. Or you could add in special bingos that uh, you had to purchase. But then of course they would come out maybe like they would. You, you can purchase them early for like a pre order or whatever pre-purchase and you would have it like three or four months early and in doing so you would get extra gold or something like that and then it would come out for everybody else and then the the, the gold would be decreased by a couple thousand or instead of getting like five gold stars um, you would get 10 and then when it goes back to normal everyone else would be get 5 and you would have had 10 because you actually purchased it early like or they had the whole pre-order mutant things which I think is it was so good and it, they only did it once and it was so good because like yeah they could keep the price of the characters at 10 bucks but if you pre-order it you get it at $1.99 you know how many people would buy it? that wouldn't have bought it at 10 bucks and you still have the $10 price for people that just happened to miss the event didn't have enough or maybe they just started playing or I don't know it's just people that don't pre-order it and now they have to either wait for it in an event or pay the $10 or Wait for it in a breeding event. Man, we used to get a ton of breeding events. We don't get any of those anymore. Uh, there was just, I felt like there was just so much more that we used to get. Now it's just like, here, here's the same basic things, just with less of everything, but the prices are basically 10 times more. For what? You didn't do anything. And it's sad, it really is. It's just so many people just quitting over simple things that they could fix. It really is. It's just like you're losing your player base or already lost your player base, I should say. Hundreds of thousands of people just done. But if you were to change it, there would be so many people that came back or new players that could actually revive the game or just keep it alive and actually make you a crap ton of money in the process but they're just like no we're making enough as is we'll just milk it until it uh it 
doesn't get us any more money and then we'll shut it down. I feel like that's the road they're taking uh, with the game. And I feel like it's just going to be like, oh, game shutting down. We're not making enough money. Thanks for the five years or however long it takes for them to, to not make enough. And then it's just like, wow, they just ran it straight into the ground. Currently, I feel like they're just running this thing straight into the ground. Unless out of nowhere, they're just like, Mutants, Jedi, Gladiator 2. And then I'm just like, so that's what they were doing the whole time. So worth it. But, nope. Nothing. <laughs> like, absolutely nothing. We get nothing. And then, if people are saying, oh, that and this and that and that. No, all that's all the stuff that they used to do before. Like, they have yet to innovate the game with anything like they haven't added in anything of them their own into the game at all like no crazy like yeah the mutants but like those are a given like it's you have to add new mutants and stuff like that so they were gonna do that regardless like they haven't actually added in something that would change the game or make people be like whoa this is crazy this is cool this is something different or uh some people of course would hate it but then it's just like oh well at least we're getting new stuff instead of having nothing like i would take new stuff even if it sucked or we're getting nothing <laughs> it's just like and that's what they're doing to us now it's just nothing nothingness and it sucks because the game was pretty fun, pretty good. Now it's just... Oh, that game. Oh, I used to play that game. Is it still the same? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going back. <laughs> it's just like, damn. They, they just... I feel like they just don't even care. They're just like, oh, 100,000 people stopped playing the game? Oh, that's fine. We still only have like 300,000. And we're still making enough to to not worry about uh, when the next... Um, when we have to make the next update or this or that. And it's just like... Because they're running the servers and stuff like he got a freaking crit. Unless I crit this dude, we're, we lost. Oh, even if we crit him, we still lost. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, like once once it costs more to run the servers than the game's actually making, they're just probably going to end it. But yeah, that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just going on a rant there because I felt like talking about something different and uh, giving you my opinion on the game. Um, and why I still play it because some people always ask why do you still play the game like I like the Collecting aspect the PvP PV all the other crap is just Meh like give me some new new stuff like Give me something anything like, I'm asking for anything at this point Give me something that the previous people were working on it that they weren't gonna do that you made up all by yourself give me something that's just crazy and no one thought about and you just added it in like add in dungeons add in something because it's really boring i don't know i doubt they haven't watched my videos because nobody watches my videos anymore um but uh yeah it's just my two cents if you made it this far with me ranting and raving thank you that's insane that you even made it this far i would not have watched this far but uh yeah if you guys could like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell any of all those things would help me out a lot i would appreciate it also there are games in the description that you could download that would help me out in terms of a couple cents in my pocket they're like 15 30 cents but it does add up if a ton of people do it so if you want to help out that way that'd be nice um and if i can get enough which i still haven't got enough to do a giveaway which is unfortunate so far this month i think i've made like a dollar so yeah 
not doing too good but uh well not on the the games but if i can get more and do enough for giveaways and stuff like that i'll do giveaways again but people are like do giveaways why don't you do giveaways anymore it's because i don't make any money anymore off of youtube how am i supposed to do giveaways that's what i was using to do giveaways before if i don't make anything off of it how am i supposed to do it so i decided to do the whole game thing the affiliate uh with a ton of the games and using that hopefully to in turn maybe do some giveaways but so far in total i've made i think five bucks so yeah you guys gotta either step it up or it'll take us another couple of years before we can actually do another giveaway <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be about it i'm just talking to talk at this point we'll uh talk to you guys later